Now we just got the map everyone has been waiting for. The shark map, the map that is full of rewards. I'm Blade Miss and welcome to the kingdom if you're new here. Make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. You can also follow me on all social medias at Blade Miss. Same way it's spelled on the YouTube channel username. And make sure you click on the channel community tab and interact with me there. So before we jump into any map, you always want to see what your goals are. That way you can go ahead and complete them all in order to get the program stars for whatever inning you are working towards. So here we can see that goal number one is we have to capture the giants before the end of the first turn. And then goal number two is we have to capture the A's before the third turn. And then very important, you have to steal three million fans. So in the steal fans phase, you have to go ahead and play at least on all star if you do want to knock it out in one try. Now, if you're only interested in the rewards, I would suggest just skipping along the video to wherever a reward pops up because generally what I do is I do it for the newcomers or those that want to do conquests with someone by their side and I take them by a step-by-step -step process on how to complete the conquest map the fastest and most effective way possible. So San Francisco Giants, we have to take them out in one turn. So we're going to go straight to them. Now if you lose any of the 10 million fans, all you're going to do is restart the map and head back to the Giants. Why? Because you're not risking anything, you haven't captured a stronghold, and you haven't played a game yet. So we're going to be facing them on All-Star. It's going to be light and easy. Let's go ahead and do this. You guys saw, so far we have one standard pack, just one, as a hidden reward. So now that we went ahead and beat the Giants, there are some tips that I want to give you all that will make Conquest a lot funner and a lot faster. One of them is, if you're still working on Team Affinities, or I should say they are called team affinities what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and fill out your team with whichever team you're working towards in terms of team affinities and just rack up the innings rack up the points whenever you score two runs I would say if you're playing on all-star difficulty or below you're safe enough to just bunt for the rest of the game or run around until you get out the rest of the game meaning if it's a single send your runner home get yourself tagged out and it's gonna make it a lot faster a lot easier here I'm gonna just go ahead and steal three million fans probably from the Oakland Athletics on all-star difficulty because they're the next stronghold we have to take before turn three we're gonna knock that out as you guys saw we did not get anything for capturing the San Francisco Giants stronghold in terms of an item we got some stubs and some experience let's go ahead and steal the three million fans to knock that out as well from our to-do list now what I always do when I play conquest is I always have a bullpen arm start the game because if you have your ace they're gonna start their ace if you have your bullpen arm it's randomly generated for them so that to me is great and gives you an advantage because you can bring Corey Kluber out of the pen but they will most likely not bring Corey Kluber out of the pen now the still three million fans I didn't have the best game in the world the wind was blowing in by 12 miles per hour at the Oakland Coliseum and let's just say that from the start it wasn't fun having someone like Babe Ruth get perfect perfect and they're not even warning track shots they're just literally right to the wall so the next step is you're gonna reinforce your original stronghold after you do that you're gonna move all your fans to this stronghold and you're just gonna go straight for the Oakland Athletics even if you lose fans here you don't want to restart why because then you would have to go ahead and capture the Giants all over again so we're going straight for the Oakland A's we stole three million fans from them that's why we can play them on veteran we're gonna knock that out and then we're gonna go right after the next stronghold as you guys saw no hidden rewards just yet now we got both strongholds out of the way and now we're gonna make a beeline towards the next stronghold now there's one little thing I want to tell you all about territories if you guys are not familiar and that's whenever a territory has 2 million fans it will almost always never attack you so we got to go ahead and reinforce we already did the steel fans phase for the mission we're going to reinforce at our leading territory the one that is closest to Kansas City and then we're going to make a beeline straight towards Kansas City that way it's a lot less hectic whenever we decide 
to go ahead and fill out the rest of the territories. Here, you're going to be able to reinforce whenever you get to Kansas City if you lose all of your fans. But if you do want to play the game on, let's say, Legend or Hall of Fame, you can go ahead and do that. There you can see we get a Prospects Set 3 pack. I'm going to go ahead and try to play it out on Hall of Fame. You guys can go ahead and just reinforce by skipping the face to steal, skipping again to reinforce, and reinforcing your leading territory, and then going ahead and facing them. But I'm going to go ahead, try it out on Hall of Fame, and hopefully beat them. So that's one of the things that's weird about me. I struggle when I'm playing the CPU on Veteran. I struggle a little bit on All-Star, but you turn me up to Hall of Fame a legend, and you can almost assure a W coming out of me. So, an elite Ducks in the Pond that was found at the Kansas City Royals stronghold. Now we're going to go straight for the Pirates. I know that Miami seems a lot closer, but it's not in all reality it's actually a little bit further and we only had 1 million fans there i almost forgot so we're just gonna skip to attack we're gonna obviously this time around have to go ahead and once again reinforce hopefully we get at least 9 million fans and we do just that we're most likely gonna have to reinforce one more time before we take the pirates on unless we don't lose any fans which i say is highly improbable or not possible maybe I should just say not possible just because the three million fans right there they will most likely attack us before we go ahead and attempt to attack their stronghold but if it doesn't happen then I'm pretty happy with it because I can go ahead play them on Hall of Fame right here or it's gonna be on legend actually I can face them on legend beat them and then come back to y'all so I'm gonna go ahead most of you, if you want an easier matchup, you're going to have to reinforce and work your way back up there. I'm going to go ahead and try to beat them on Legend, so I'll be back. Now, this game I just played against the CPU on Legend, I wish I could go ahead and have recorded it just to upload it as gameplay. So you guys could see that five run second inning, I kid you not, it was full of BS the entire time. Oh, snap. I thought that that was a hidden reward, but you get a 10 pack bundle for capturing the Pirates. Now with 3 million fans, the Pirates 100% can go ahead and attack both your territories. We're closer though to the Tampa Bay Rays, so we're gonna reinforce right here, and we're gonna go back to the Rays. Now if they do go ahead and attack our territory right there, I'm pretty sure they can attack our stronghold too. I'm not 100% positive on it, but I'm pretty sure it can happen. So. We're going to go ahead and be very careful, might reinforce that stronghold just a little bit to make sure that they can't go ahead and capture it. And once we reinforce it just a little bit, we will go ahead and capture those territories back for us because we will need it for reinforcements. We're going to go ahead and face the raise once again. You can go ahead and reinforce and basically allow yourself to face them on all-star or veteran difficulty if you would like to. We're going to go ahead, beat them on Hall of Fame, and I'll be right back. So a pretty easy, simple game against the Tampa Bay Rays. We were able to take the stronghold without a problem. And uh, I'm not sure how much fans we have left. We got a home run derby set two pack from there. I forgot what I was trying to say there, but that's what we got. We took that remaining territory. And now what I'm going to do is we're going right after the Seattle Mariners because clearly the Seattle Mariners are arguably the best team there for us to chase we're gonna give about i want to say seven million fans to the stronghold that was the pirates and then we're gonna reinforce this territory right here and then move three million over here call it a day and you know truthfully we could have also done something a little bit different where all we had to do was actually put three million fans in that stronghold and since the pirates only had two million fans it would have been very unlikely that they would have went out of their way to actually attack us but I felt a little bit more comfortable just regaining these territories back. And you might feel a little bit more comfortable regaining these territories back as well. So that's what we're going to do. That's also going to give us more territories to reinforce or more fans for reinforcements, which is going to help us out at the end of the day. We're going to make a beeline straight towards the Seattle Mariners. Once we get to the Seattle Mariners, clearly all we have to do is capture the Miami Marlins and then... For the remainder of the video, you're going to be seeing a bunch of hidden rewards. At least, I hope so. 
I think that the fastest route is probably going down one and then going straight after them. I think that's going to be the most effective route and the fastest route. Since none of the territories surrounding my path, let's say, have 2 million fans or anything along those lines, I don't fear any of those territories actually blocking my little snake towards the Seattle Mariners. And now with 15 million fans, I'm almost 100% comfortable that we are going to be able to face the Seattle Mariners on veteran to all-star difficulty we're gonna take that stronghold and after we take their stronghold I'm most likely gonna capture out the circle around them because as you guys can see that circle it has 7 million fans 3 million fans etc and whenever you see some place with 7 million fans they're gonna go ahead and do their best to capture the circle again and attack your stronghold let's beat them on all-star so now that we went ahead to beat the Seattle Mariners, let's see if the Stronghold has anything in terms of hidden rewards. Right after that, we're going to be able to make a beeline straight towards the Miami Marlins, be done with the entire map, of course, and then, or be done with the Strongholds on the entire map. And then after that, all we got to do is just fill out the areas, and it's going to be the easiest thing in the world, I promise you. So as you guys saw right there, for capturing the Seattle Mariners Stronghold, you do end up getting yourselves it was I believe hopefully they don't capture that 4 million that's why I stopped talking now they can attack the stronghold so watch this hopefully we're able to reinforce and just capture that um capture that territory or recapture it around because if we weren't able to do this right now they would have been able to attack the stronghold if they had an extra million fans but since they don't have an extra million fans all we gotta do is capture just one point of the stronghold reinforce to the leading territory towards the Miami Marlins and then move the million fans over and now we never have to worry about any team capturing any stronghold of ours except for of course the Miami Marlins which does have a 10 million fan territory etc so from the Seattle Mariners stronghold as you guys saw you get yourselves, I believe it was, a home run derby set one diamond. So that is pretty good, or I should say pack. I haven't opened any of those packs or have gotten any home run derby card. So I'm hoping I get some good luck Unlike this little run right here. Now, this is going to be very important. Look at this. I have 8 million fans. I'm going to attack the 5 million fans. Why not the 10 million fans, you might ask? Well, if I go after the 10 million fans and I end up losing, then the 10 million fans will go ahead and eat up the path I just created. But since I didn't go after the 10 million fans, I can just reinforce right here. Attack the 11. Once I attack the 11, hopefully I have enough to face the Miami Marlins at a pretty easy difficulty. If not, it doesn't matter. I'm facing the Miami Marlins. But it looks like we might not end up beating them. After all, maybe the stronghold attacks us. Yes, the stronghold is going to attack us. We are going to be the winner, although, and we're going to face them on Hall of Fame difficulty to finish this out. And then we're going to capture the entire map and show you all the hidden rewards. So that is it. We have now captured every single stronghold. The only thing left for us to do is to capture the remaining territories available for us and then we'll be done with the conquest map and we will get not only all the hidden rewards now but we will also get the stars needed so prospect set two pack is at the end where the miami marlins are at now to do this the most effective way possible just do the math here there are three territories remaining to be filled out so you put four here and then boom You'll remain you'll fill that out basically here how many are remaining six you put seven over here and you'll fill that out how many are remaining here four you put five you'll fill that out and then at the bottom towards here there's gonna be a lot so let me not focus on that just yet I'll put the remaining territories at the top right here just so we can go ahead and kill off those 1 million fans 1 million territories we're gonna go ahead and actually move some fans we have 4 million at the bottom that 4 million is no longer needed at the bottom since we completed that bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 4 million fans up here and just allow myself to fill out the remaining territories. Even though I am going to be missing one. Headliners 2 packs at the edge right there. We're going to run up and now fill out this area right here. See where the hidden rewards are. No hidden rewards right there for us. 
we're going to be able to fill that out and then three right here and what this does for us is it allows us to get more fans to reinforce and when we get more fans to reinforce the beauty of it is you capture or the simulated games not only do they go a lot quicker but it's faster in general hopefully we don't lose and we ended up losing all of our fans there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna reinforce maybe to five right here and then for the rest i'm gonna just stack them all up on this side and just call it a day and start going after the miami marlins as hard as i can so hopefully we don't lose any fans here hopefully we have some left over and holy cow the kansas city royals they seem to not want to give up their remaining territories as they went and beat us twice all right that's fine 24 million fans gonna go ahead capture this 1 million fans from the oakland athletics and then just look to capture as many territories as we can before we lock ourselves in there clearly you can see that if we were to go ahead that's a ball and is a habit pack if we were to go ahead to the bottom left area we would lock ourselves in there before we would be able to continue therefore making us reinforce once again or just do another turn which eventually we'll have to do it but i'd rather not do it currently i'd rather beat these two million fans with what we have available and then get that one million but that's not going to work out for us now is it so there are five territories here well yeah i'm going to be able to get all of them so i'm gonna put six here and then to capture the rest i'm gonna put four i'm gonna give myself five over here and then the rest on the bottom that way with the five hopefully what happens is i can kill the two and head into that single territory at the top thankfully sometimes you got to do this because out of nowhere the cpu becomes the best or not the best but their odds are the best in the world another hidden reward right there capture these two remaining territories please kansas city don't beat us thank you now we're gonna have fans to move from that area right there and then the rest is obviously we're just gonna start making our way to capture the rest of the territories in miami the sole purpose that i'm leaving this in the video is due to the simple fact that you guys want to know where the hidden rewards are and I'm gonna show you all and even if you're not interested in the hidden rewards you still want to basically do this map as fast and effective as possible so I'm gonna help you do that as well luckily for us we didn't lose any fans right there I'm gonna go after the six million fans because even if I don't beat them I make them as weak as possible therefore allowing it to be easier for us next time we do go after them so left them at 1 million fans i'll take that without a problem we're gonna go ahead reinforce this to 10 i would say would be a comfortable number here we're gonna reinforce this to two here it's one two three four gonna reinforce it to six or seven seven would leave me a lot more comfortable and then the rest are gonna go up here since we do have a path to get ourselves out of here and then i'm gonna move the fans back up to the 23 since that is going to be my leading territory so with the 7 million all i'm going to do is i'm going to go up to the one hopefully we beat them without having to face them twice luckily for us we did and that extra million fans did come up clutch 10 million fans right here that probably was a little bit overboard but i want to make sure i don't have to waste another turn of reinforcements down here and i actually just go ahead and fill out the path remaining and actually now that i'm looking at it we might not have a path the way i imagined we did so yeah we don't have a path the way i imagined we did two more headliners right there but it's all right we're gonna have a path to complete it all pretty soon so the 24 million fans over here i did go a little bit overboard from what it seems so that's fine with me that's all right because it doesn't matter so far though the shark map in terms of headliners in terms of packs in general it is 100 percent worth it it is 100 percent worth it to capture all the strongholds it's 100 percent worth to do everything so we're gonna go ahead put all of our fans into this territory right here it's gonna be the leading territory and i'm gonna be able to go ahead and capture all of the territories remaining on this side and if the simulation isn't on our side which most of the times it isn't it's gonna allow me to go ahead and move the remaining fans that I left on the bottom right I believe is gonna allow me to move them back up and give myself a little bit 
of an extra boost even though it's most likely not going to be needed so a quarterfinals pack all the way at the edge of the shark map if you guys saw it's 54 million fans everything has 1 million or lower so it should go by pretty quickly but if you have enjoyed today's video make sure you guys hit that like button make sure you guys hit that red subscribe button help the channel grow it means a lot to me this is the kingdom and i welcome you all to it actually so 48b1 no problem i'm not sure when i'm gonna do the pack opening because if you guys watched yesterday's pack opening video i still do have a lot of conquest maps to finish or actually i believe i have two more remaining conquest maps and i want to also put out a showdown guide for you all so what i'm gonna do is i'm most likely gonna go ahead eat something work out then record what is left for you all so it seems that we would get stuck in the top right so i'm not going for the top right just yet i'm gonna try to capture as many territories as i can without getting myself stuck that way i just leave myself with knowing how much i gotta reinforce and that's gonna be the best outcome for us so we're most likely just gonna have to reinforce like three territories to the top right and then we'll be good to go so yeah three territories most likely since this is an easy path and then everything else we're gucci on but so far it seems like we have gotten a bunch of headliners we've gotten a bunch of standards We've got a couple of home run derbies. We got ducks on the pond, which I don't even know what those packs offer. I don't even know what's elite. I don't know any of that. That's how long it's been. Three more territories remaining right here. And then we go to the top right and we're done with this and you're done with this as well. So if you don't know me, I usually do conquest guides from when the game drops all the way to the end. I always take a little hiatus, but for sure i'm ob21 i'm gonna try not to take that little bit of a hiatus in here to finish off the map all we gotta do is capture these two right here so one that's a little standard i'm gonna take a screenshot right here for the thumbnail and then the final one you get a ball and is a habit pack so five ball and is a habit packs you get a tops now once you get up there take another little screenshot right here and we're going to go to the packs that we have available, which are not all from this shark map. I do want to go ahead and give that disclosure. Most of our packs are actually from doing other conquest maps along with the shark map. But if you did end up enjoying today's content, make sure you hit that like button, red subscribe button. Don't forget to follow us on all social medias at Blademus. Same way it's spelled on the YouTube channel username. Click on the channel community tab. Interact with me there. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. And I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out.